The Tidonomachy is a series of wars in Greek mythology. These wars took place in Thessaly, and were also called the War of the Titans, the Battle of the Titans, the Battle of the Gods or just the Titan War. These wars were between the Titans, the older gods, and the Olympians, a newer generation of gods. The Titans ruled Mount Othres, and the Olympians would rule Mount Olympus. The Titans and the Olympians fought to decide who would rule the universe. In the end, the Olympians who were led by Zeus won. Before the war started, the Titans were in power, and Uranus was in charge of the universe. Uranus made his wife Gaia angry, because he locked up some of her children. These children were the Cyclops and the Hecaton Shires. He locked them up into Tartarus, which was a prison deep below the earth. Gaia was very mad that Uranus had locked up her children, so she made them a giant weapon, and told them to castrate their father. Cronus was the only child that would do as his mother told him. So Cronus and his mother made a plan to overthrow Uranus. The plan worked, and when Uranus was castrated his blood fell to earth, and into the sea. From this blood, several sets of children were born. The Gigantes, the Arrhenes, and the Melody were all made from Uranus' blood that fell to the earth. Aphrodite was born from Uranus' blood that fell into the sea. Cronus with his mother's help, managed to overthrow his father, Uranus. But Uranus made a prediction that Cronus would be overthrown by his sons. Because Cronus was afraid of losing the kingdom, he made the same mistakes his father did, and turned into a terrible angry king, and did lots of horrible things to stay in power. He put his brothers back into prison and ate his children, just to keep them from overthrowing him. But Rhea, his wife, managed to fool Cronus and keep one of his children safe. This child was named Zeus. Rhea hid him away in a cave on the island of Crete so he would be safe. On the island, Zeus was raised by a goat, named Amalthea. Once Zeus grew up, he went to his father's mountain and served him as a cupbearer. His father did not know that Zeus was his son. Titan goddess named Metis helped Zeus, fool his father into drinking a mixture of mustard in his wine. This caused Cronus to feel sick, and he threw up all of his children that he had eaten, one by one. Once Cronus had expelled all of Zeus' brothers and sisters, Zeus talked them into rebelling against Cronus, their father. This is what started the Titanomachy, or the Titans' War. Zeus and his brothers, and sisters rebelled against his father, Cronus. Zeus set the Cyclopes and the Hecatonchires free from their underground prison, and convinced them to join the rebellion against Cronus too. Remember, Cronus had been the one who locked up his siblings, so they agreed to join Zeus. The Hecatonchires used rocks as weapons, and the Cyclopes made Zeus thunderbolts. Together they also made Poseidon's trident, and Hades' helm of darkness. The only Titians to fight with Zeus were Themis and Prometheus. This war lasted 10 years. Atlas was a major leader on the side of the Titans, and Cronus. After the war was over, Zeus imprisoned all of the Titans, except for Themis, and Prometheus who fought for him. These Titans were imprisoned in the earth the same way that Cronus, Hecatonchires, and the Cyclopes once were. Hecatonchires guarded the Titans in their prison. Because Atlas was such an important fighter for the opposition, Zeus gave him the special punishment of holding up the world. After the Titans' war, Zeus and his brothers, Hades and Poseidon, decided to divide the universe into three parts. They drew straws to see who would rule over which part. Zeus drew the longest straw, so he was given the title of King of the Sky. This also meant that he was the head of mortals, and all the gods too. Poseidon got the middle straw, so he became King of the Sea. Hades drew the shortest straw, so he became the ruler of the underworld. The underworld is also known as the realm of the dead.